Hello and welcome to part five of our Tyrrell P34 Tamiya 112 scale Formula One car build. So let's have a look at where we were at in part four. So what we did was, I'll bring this across, is we got all this done with the console, the steering wheel, uh, all these frames all put in. The steering wheel works, as you can see, the wheels are going to turn when they're on there. So that's really good. Um, so that's all done. And now we're up to step 13. Uh, for those of you joining for the first time, um, there's a playlist called the Tyrrell P34. Uh, you can go back there and watch it from part one. Um, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and uh, the thumbs up if you like it. And don't forget to comment. Your comments are welcome. Um, I really appreciate any comments. All right. So uh, step 13. So what we've decided to do was the body panel that goes around here. I'll just put step 13 up in the corner there. Um, I'm not going to put that on now because it needs to be painted the blue with the rest of the body parts, which we're going to do later. So what I've done is all those other parts that I can put on now without that panel being there, um, that's what I'm working on at the moment. All right, which are these parts here. And they're all painted up, um, ready to go, ready to go on there. There's some extra parts here. These are from the next step, 14, which I'll put that up in the corner. So step 40 includes that, which I'm not even sure what that is. Uh, I thought it was a fire extinguisher, but I'm not too sure now. Um, that's all painted white as instructed, um, but I will be doing a bit of um, aluminium for the braces on there and probably a little touch up on a few other parts because the whole thing white like that doesn't look right. Um, this, also, this step also includes the roll bar. Now the roll bar is the only part in the build that's actually chrome, and it's a chrome part like this straight off the sprue. Um, and what I tried to do was I was going to take the chrome off. I'll just soak it in like oven cleaner. It didn't work. This has happened before with other kits. Um, the chrome won't come off. I've tried two different uh, oven cleaners and other stuff, and it's just, I don't know what it is, but it won't come off, which is good, I suppose. <laughs> But what it means for us is that I still want to re-chrome this because all of this needs to be, um, we need to sand back all these seam lines on here. And there's a bit of um, plastics on here as well, flashing. So they really need tidying up and you just can't do that and, and then have it stay looking like that. Um, so I'll be doing that, um, basically get all that sanded up nice and smooth and rounded and just how I want it. Then I'll undercoat it in the Outlaw Paints Primer. Um, then we'll do it in the Gloss Black. And then we'll do it with the Outlaw Paints Chrome, which is going to come up better than that, from my experience. So that's on the list to do in this video, as well as putting those art parts. Also, if I pop up step 15, there's some more parts to be built that all go into the back here. Uh, and they all go around this. I haven't checked yet if I can put them on um, and put them together um, while this is off. I'm not sure. But anyway, there's a lot of parts to put together. So without getting too far ahead of ourselves, I'll move this um, over here. We'll bring all these parts over and we'll start placing them on. All right, let me just sort myself out here. I'll be back in a second. Okay, we're back again. Um, so I've put those pieces on here. I did the um, aluminium strips around that cylinder there. So that's looking better. Um, put a bit of blue on the top of the joint in there and on the end of these here, just a bit of contrast. And uh, that's looking good. Put that aside. We're working on the roll bar now. So what I've done is um, sanded it all back and got it all rounded it's come up really nice i've just washed it now get all the sand sawdust plastic dust off it and i'll let that dry same with these pieces they're all nice and round now and um i'll go and use the outlaw paints primer to prime them when they're dry and then uh put some nice gloss black on there and then um and then put the chrome on 
it's going to look great. Um, so yeah, so I've also taken off uh, some extra parts off the sprue and prepped them. They're here. They're for step 14. Um, they'll go on the back of the car under sort of at the, the bottom of the um, roll bar connects into this. There's a, a red pin that releases something. I'm not too sure. Uh, that's connected on there as well and a few other bits of pipes. Um, so I'm going to go and paint those up and they're going to be painted in, uh, let me just check what that is going to be, um, chrome silver and aluminium for this piece here. And this will be red, bright red. All right, so when we come back, uh, oh gosh, I guess, uh, I guess I'll have these all painted up and ready to go on. Yeah. Um, while these parts are drying, uh, we'll probably jump to step 15 and start um, looking at um, putting some of those parts together and put them up in the corner there. You can see step 15's got quite a bit. This is attaching the reservoir. So I don't know what that reservoir is, but that's what it's called. There's also some vinyl tubing going on there. And uh, yeah, a few other bits and pieces. So. Uh, it's looking good. <laughs> All right, I shall return shortly. Hey, welcome back. So, um, I've gone and painted up, um, undercoated those parts that I was doing before, and I've just gone down to step 15 to do this, which is the oil reservoir. Okay, so I knew it was something reservoir, it's an oil reservoir. I'm just gluing that together, then I'll glue this on top. There's a line down there, I need to do some sanding and, and cleaning up a bit there to get them nice and invisible. Um, but all the parts on this, as you can see, step 15 up there, um, the whole thing is going to be painted, It's they're saying TS30, which is the first time through the instructions I've seen that colour come up. TS30 is aluminium. All right, now it's not the same aluminium that I've done the rest of the car because that was uh, XF16 aluminium. So this being an aluminium tank uh, rather than the frame and parts of the actual car, I'm actually going to use the Outlaw Paints aluminium. So the one I've been using is a white aluminium because that was the one we decided in the first video um, it was the better, I thought, more realistic colour for metal for this Formula One car. But the actual al aluminium, I'm going to do this. So it'll, we'll see what sort of difference it's, and if it's much difference. But, you know, going by this, it is a different aluminium. Now, all the parts, all those little E7, E8, E72, all those bits can be all put together and all put on this before I paint it because they're all going to be the same colour. Now, there may be some little detail that I might just touch up, um, but otherwise, the only thing to add to this will be some vinyl tubing, which will be some oil hoses that will come out. Uh, again, the instructions have you, the length is a 60 mil and 115 mil length ones that have to be cut. Um, and then this will attach onto the back, I guess it's like a rear firewall just before the engine. Um, with a few more pieces there that need to be added as well. I'm just looking at the colours for those, and they will have to be um, uh, gloss black and uh, aluminium, as in the car aluminium, and another gloss black. So, yeah, not a problem. We can do all that. All right, so I'll finish putting this, and I'll get that painted up as well. Okay, back in a sec. Hey, welcome back, everybody. So we've got all our parts here um, painted up, all looking good. And I'm just doing a quick test fit because my hope was that I could put the roll bar and this oil reservoir on without having this fitted. Um, but unfortunately, if this is all going to be secured on the back here, this needs to be fitted um, first for mainly the reason that those two attachment points go into the roll cage and they this has to be fitted in place for them to attach onto that 
and then this oil cooler goes on after the roll bar. See, that's going to fit in there like that. Okay. So basically, what it means is that, of course, this I'm going to uh, chrome. I'll go chrome that now. Um, take that off there. Yeah, so what that means is that this will have to be painted up to the finished point and attached, like it says to do in step 13. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. I'll, I'll have to do that. <laughs> so um, at least we'll get a chance to see what the blue is going to look like and uh, with the 2K on there. And uh, it's going to look really fantastic, I'm sure. I'll give a, a pre preview of what the rest of the panels will look like. I won't paint all the panels. I'm just going to do this one. Um, I'm sure it'll be. It's not going to. It's going to look fine. All right. Um, other than that, yeah. So everything's got to be connected in onto the back there. Okay. Um, but in the meantime, uh, I'm going to go and chrome that, including the two struts that go up to it which are here i've labeled one because i didn't want to get them mixed up there is a left and right so that one f5 is labeled they will be done chrome as well um yeah looking forward to putting all these parts on um yeah so i'll get that done and i'll be right back okay we're back and um got the uh, roll bar chromed it's come up looking really nice there it is there uh, fantastic I love painting that chrome on there it looks really good also put that little red uh, pull tab I think it is that's just been glued on so that'll stay there and we've got our supports for it which we're still keeping them separate so we know which is which um, and then uh, this one's all ready to go we've, I've got the tubing on here this is the oil reservoir so all this is ready to go on but we can't do that until this uh, body panels on now I have undercoated it and I'm about to go right now and hit it with the um, beautiful outlaw paints blue uh, give that a really good amount of time to dry um, probably a few hours before I go and hit it with the um, uh, 2k all right, and then uh, that's going to go on. Uh, I'm sure, that's going to look pretty impressive. Uh, and then we'll be able to put all these parts on, including the little connector tabs. You can see them, it's a bit bright there in there. Okay, so I'll be back and we'll have a look at doing that back shortly. Okay, guys, so here's our piece of bodywork that's going to go down over around the cockpit. And um, what I discovered is that um, there's actually a decal to go on here. So there's a decal to go across the back. It's part of the stripe that goes, goes across the middle of the car. And I thought, well, if I paint this, how am I going to know where the decal is going to go? Um, and it continues up onto the side of the cockpit here. So what I've done is I've glued this together. So if we put that in place where it's going to be on here. And sit there this does not get glued on um, because this is one of the removable parts so if i can just pop that in there and that there push that so that fits really nicely and while I, and the decal goes across the panel there sorry i'll get in view across the panel and then up here okay it runs up here now when i look closer there's actually two little marks that show the location of the decals in there. So, and they line up perfectly where it's going to go with that. So there was no need um, to put this together um, to figure out where it was going to join and come across because there's, there's, there's two little lines like that you can see that it goes between. Um, but I'm glad I did because you need... To get this at the right angle, um, you need to have it sitting where it's supposed to be. And then down here, there's a bit of a gap. Um, not so much down the bottom, that's all fine. Just at the top, there's a slight gap in there. 
So what I've done is um, I've run some um, CA glue down in here to fill that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lightly sand where I can feel it raised here and here. I'm just going to lightly sand it and uh, we should get rid of uh, that raised section have that nice and smooth all the way around. Um, but in the meantime now, knowing that this fits on here like this and comes off easily, uh, we can go ahead and paint this the blue. Um, then I'm assuming I'll put the decal on before I put the um, two coat clear, a two K clear on. So um, yeah, so that should be fine. And then when time comes, that'll just sit there, this like it does, and uh, be fine. But this will be needing a bit of prep work along here to um, get that nice and smooth. So when this is painted up, uh, there'll be nothing there. All right, so now I'll go ahead and I'll paint this up. And then while that's drying, um, I'll work on this. Okay, we'll be back, back soon. Okay, so we're back with, uh, well, we've got paint drying. So that uh, panel that I painted, uh, I've undercoated. I've just done the blue coat. And uh, there's also a decal we need to put on there before we can hit it with 2K clear. So the decal needs to be, well, we have to wait till that paint dries properly before I put the decal on. And then when the decal's set properly, then it's all going to take time. And in the meantime, I'm stuck and can't do anything. So we're going to jump ahead to the next page and step 16, and that's putting the engine together. All right. Now, um, once those that those that panel's dried and clear coated, and I'll periodically bring that back in, and we'll have a look at that progress. Um, but until then, all these parts can't go on so uh, once it's done we can put all those on so we're going to start step 13 i'll put step 13 up in the corner here no correction <laughs> step 16 and that is the engine and most of the parts are all on this we've got the engine block here some beautiful detail as you can see in there look at that that's really nice um, all of this will be painted in the um, aluminium uh, so yes so I will be painting all these parts aluminium most likely a lot of this will get put together before it's painted there are the cylinder heads um, that it will be a different color so the actual uh, from what I can see of that there's quite a bit involved in step 16 but everything that's XF 16 is aluminium uh, until we get to cylinder heads, which are TS29, which relates to gloss black. Um, I will check on that, whether I will use a gloss black or something similar. Um, yeah, we'll check. But those parts will have to be sprayed, uh, painted before they go on. But every other part of that engine looks like it can all go together as it's all... Um, that there is uh, some black parts, gloss black parts, which looks like things like the alternator down on the side there. Um, but again, they can all be put together separately and then attached as one piece. So that makes uh, painting that those parts uh, quite simple. Okay, so it uh, looks like I've got to get some parts off this sprue and uh, ready to go. So I'll do that and then we'll come back when we start. Uh, putting this together okay back in a sec okay so here are all the parts of step 16 uh, all off the sprue all trimmed up all cleaned up all ready to glue together uh, except for two bits of photo etch which will go just on the top of each of these um, cylinder heads here or rocket covers I would call them rocket covers but anyway yeah, so there's two bits of photo which we can do that after. Uh, a lot of this can be put together. It's all going to be aluminium paint color. There's a few little bits in here that will be black, like this one I've got here. So paint that black, and I'll paint the rest aluminium before they get put together. 
uh, they all go together. There are these little rubbery ones that go on in a couple of spots. Uh, I think they stay black. Not 100% sure on that. I'll have to find out. It doesn't really say anything in the instructions. Well, actually, no, no, it doesn't, actually. But they don't get glued. That's something to important to remember, that we don't glue these pieces on. Um, other than that, yeah, all good. Um, just got some advice on the decals and 2K. So uh, one of my number one... Uh, uh, subscribers and mates has uh, suggested this is paul price uh suggested that uh yeah put the decals on then to and then once the decals are on give it 24 hours so that they set and dry completely before i spray them with uh 2k clear uh over the piece all right so i've got i may get one the two decals on the two sides of the piece that sits on here okay there's two decals that go either side um, i might get them on today and we'll have a look because they're it's painted uh it's blue it's ready for the deck i'll just make sure that paint's dry uh and then the decal's going to be 24 hours which will be not till tomorrow before i can 2k it all right so um yeah all right all good. I'll we'll bring in that stuff as I proceed with all that as well. Okay, I'm going to put these bits together, yeah, and and paint what needs to be painted. A lot of this engine too. Uh, once this is all together, I'll be doing just a normal clear coat because I want to use some panel line wash to get the detail out and uh, scruff it up a little bit, um, and just give it that more not plastically look not plastic look <laughs> okay all right i'll be back shortly okay welcome back again so here's all our parts ready to paint there's our engine put together uh just waiting for these parts to go on it but that's all ready to spray all in the um aluminium it's gonna look good uh, there's our covers for the top and they'll be done it says gloss black Still not 100% sure how I'm going to go about them yet, but I'll undercoat them all for now and then figure that out. Um, but uh, yeah, these are all going to get primed up now and painted. And then what I'll do while all that's painting is I'll move on over to this, which is painted up, and uh, we'll get decals. There's a couple of decals that need to go on that before we can uh, hit that with our 2K. Okay. All right. I will continue on. I'll be back in a sec. Now, I'm just jumping back here, I just thought I'd show you. I forgot there's a couple of bits of photo etch. See them on there? Um, yeah, don't forget to put those bits on. Um, they're different sizes as well, so don't worry about getting mixed up. They'll only fit on each one the right way. Okay, so um, yeah, don't forget to put them on. All right, I shall be back after I've done a bit of painting. Cheers. Hey, you're back again. So got all our parts painted there they are there for the engine not too sure what these are but i think they're like it's like the alternator and so forth on the side um, but they've come up well so i've done all those in um the aluminium the outlaw paints aluminium the white aluminium that i'm using this little bit here was done in black i just did that um but i wanted to show you the engine uh how it came up see these as I always do, I prime them all in grey primer. Uh, the outlaw paint's grey. But for the engine, look at this. So I prime this in black. And then I painted the same white aluminium over the top. And look how beautiful that's come up. Just trying to show it. So I don't get too much reflection, but look at that. Uh, the, having that black base coat just brings out that, I don't know, that shadow detail a little bit in all the nooks and crannies around the engine, and it just gives it that more realistic, you know, um, I don't know, let me know in comments what the word is I'm trying to find, but it just, just makes it look that little bit more realistic, you know? 
having a black primer under there. Uh, I do this for my ship models when I'm doing the um, superstructures. Always prime in black. But uh, yeah, so that's come up really nice. And of course, with that, we have the, uh, the covers, which I did go by what the instructions said. Um, did them in the black, uh, gloss black. And I think they're going to be fine. Um, there's a little bit of um, detail to do on these. There's some uh, chrome silver that needs to be doing on some of the bolt heads. I think they are. And uh, there's also some lettering on there. It's got Ford written on each side. You can might be able to barely make it out. And I want to bring that up somehow. <laughs> but it's so small and faint. So I'm thinking uh, maybe dry brush. If I could just dry brush a bit of uh, silver chrome across that, that might just bring it up enough. It's just too small to paint on there. I'd make a mess of it. But, uh, yeah, I'll figure out what to do about that. So now we can uh, start putting some parts on these with all the bits and pieces that we've gathered. And, and that, that'll be fantastic. I don't know if I showed earlier. Yeah, I think I did. There's, the, there's our... Um, blue of the uh, bit around the cockpit area for the panelling. Uh, this needs a decal on it, and uh, I will be doing that very, very shortly. In fact, I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to put these two little decals that go on either side here someplace. Uh, I'm going to do that now. We'll come back and have a look at that before I put the engine together. Okay, be back in a sec. Right, so decals. Come across a bit of an issue. <laughs> um, so this is the decal here. There's also another one that goes on the opposite side. And it pretty much goes right there. Now there's two things. One is it's not the same shape as the place it's going to sit on. But I think that'll be okay because it'll just fold around and go underneath. Plus we've got to remember that the canopy, uh, the driver's um, piece sits on top of here so it's going to cover part of the decal which brings us to the other problem where there's a hole in there on both sides which is the location pins for the that top uh, driver's canopy section to sit in but there's no hole in the decal okay so the decal is going to go over that and cover that which is a going to be a problem so what I'm what I've decided I'm going to do is um, yeah I'm going to put the decal on cover that hole do it on both sides get them on there and then after they've set and then I've done the 2k uh, clear across the whole thing that should harden everything up and then I'll create the hole whether I use a tiny little drill bit and, and, and drill it through, whatever it takes. It doesn't have to be 100% neat because, like I said, it's where the canopy is going to sit and cover it. But, yeah, just a little thing there, just be aware that there is a hole there. And, uh, yeah, the other alternative, if I have a problem with that, is basically just cut off that connection tab under the canopy and just have it sit in the two holes at the front where it connects there and leave these with nothing there so that it'll just sit there um, hopefully um, uptight against uh, where it's supposed to. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and put these on now and we'll come back and have a look at them. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so there you go. The decals went on. Um, easier than I thought. Um, just they're a little bit slow. You just got to soak them in water for a bit longer than normal. Once they slide off on there, just a matter of maneuvering them and pressing them against the edges, and they will conform to the shape, uh, no problem at all. And uh, yeah, they've gone on well. So I'm going to go and put this somewhere safe, dust free, and leave it for 24 hours before I go and put the um, 2K clear on there. Um, so yeah, we'll see how we go about getting the holes in there after I've done all that too. 
But uh, yeah, they went on okay. I was a bit concerned because of the shape of them. They didn't look right, but they do fit. If you go underneath, there's nothing curved around underneath. They go right down on the edges like they should. So happy days. All right, so um, now we're going to start on that motor. Let's get this engine put together. Okay, back in a sec. Okay, so there's our engine parts all put together at least up until step 16, which is now completed. We've got all our parts in here. We've got the uh, hose on here. Um, yeah, I touched up the uh, these with the chrome silver. I sort of dry brushed the Ford on there a bit. Maybe I'd do a bit better job, but for the moment, I'll just leave that as is. Um, but yeah, it's come up looking really nice. So uh, now we're going to move on. Step 16 is complete. And I'll just check the previous. Yeah, we're all done. 15 is done. 14 we're still going to work on. And 13 because we're still waiting on that decal to dry so I can do the um, 2K clear coat on that piece of panel. So we will continue forward and uh, go to step 17. So I'll put that up in the corner there. And it's the fuel injection system with what looks like the uh, distributor spark plugs uh, quite a tangle of tubing going on there transparent fuel lines um, yeah it looks like uh, individual fuel lines go to each individual um, carburetor interesting we got the fuel funnel funnels go on here and those come with the photo etch brass metal ones instead of the kit plastic so they'll look good and uh yeah all right quite a bit to start on so uh once again i shall go collect, collect some parts off sprues and uh we'll come look at the uh, we'll come back and have a look at the painting and and construction uh process and order for doing that yeah i'm looking at some tubing there as well to be done uh vinyl tubing transparent as well the fuel lines yeah it looks really good all right so i'll put this aside and uh we'll get on with it back shortly okay so we're going to finish up the video here we get to that half hour mark or a bit over and um, we'll continue on with the uh step 17 which will be in the next video which will be part six that'll also give me a chance for letting that decal dry for 24 hours and getting that 2k on um, so in the next video, we'll definitely be putting that panel on around the cockpit and uh, getting most of uh, all this on, which will be good. And, uh, and then we'll go back to doing um, the uh, e injection system, which will be next. All right. Uh, thank you all, guys. Thanks for that. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Hit that like button, a thumbs up. That would be great. And your comments down below are welcome. And uh, don't forget Fridays, uh, my live stream. Join me on my live stream and have a chat about whatever's happening, uh, both your end of the world and my end. And uh, we can have a look and talk about what's going on with this as well. Okay, guys, thank you all. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Cheers.